Hi, this is Timothy Kimo Bryan. And this is Kyle Bondo. And you're listening to Podrect, where we help you survive your podcast. And in this episode, we're going to talk to you about ways you can measure your success. Is your arm a yard long? Mine is. Find out next. Hey friends, we are back. Yes, I know it's been a uh, little while uh, since you've heard a Podrack episode, but we got kind of inspired this time and we wanted to really think about what makes a successful podcast and how do you measure that success? So today's episode, I am going to prove that my arm is a yard long. Basically, what we're talking about is what's our reach? What is what is our measuring stick for success? And let's go into it right now. Hello. We're sorry, but this episode of Podrec contains insanity. This is your insanity warning, and we removed most of it from this spot forward. Now for your regularly scheduled Podrec episode. Downloads. Say it a couple times like you're a sports announcer. Oh, okay. Downloads. 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 All weekend. Downloads. <laughs> At the Thunderdome. <laughs> this weekend only. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Downloads. So many downloads. Oh, unless you're Apple Podcast, then no downloads for you. Sorry, we got a bug. Bye-bye now. Don't bring the kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. It's going to be one of those episodes. Yes, it is. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I think you're going to have to start this because I don't know where to go from there. I don't know what you want to say. Either. I don't know what you want me to do, man. <laughs> so much stress. So much stress. <laughs> Play buddy. I got this bad boy. I got oh, this one. Such a mess. <laughs> I defined success as just getting it out. Now I define success by when and how often it was downloaded. I look at um, how many people hit the website. I look at uh, the connections that I've made through the podcast. Um, I look at um, audience uh, interaction, audience response uh, to what I've done. Um, you know, I, I've looked at, I look at the network I've uh, developed from it. So I know how to better gauge my success. And if I'm successful, then I want to do it more. It's like playing a video game. If, if you really, uh, say, I really suck at dead souls. I hate that game. <laughs> it is, it is impossible. And I'm like, no, screw it. But get me on Diablo 3, I'll sit there all day and just, you know, destroy a ton of uh, demons and skeletons and all that kind of stuff because I'm good at it. Dead Souls, I'm not good at. I don't want to practice at it. I don't care about the game. So I'm never going to be good at Dead Souls. Diablo 3, I'm, you know, running the boards with it and having a great time. Um, so much so that I don't work a whole lot. I mean, I, of course, I'm working all the time, all the time, all the time. Um <laughs> <laughs> but you, I think, you know, you know, we've talked in the past about you know, knowing what our why is and being really clear on what our why is. But also we need to be clear on what are we defining as success. If you're only looking at download numbers, you're only getting one piece of the entire picture, one small piece of the entire picture, which may not even be a true number, depending on how you count downloads. You know, is it is it a download if somebody downloads it and never listens to it? Is it a download if they listen to it for a minute? Is it does it count as a download if they listen to the whole thing? Is it a download if they 
<laughs> you don't download know. it and share it to somebody else. Is that a download? Is that two downloads? Well, you'll so, never know. Yeah. You'll, you'll never, never know. know. Exactly. You don't data. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, having download numbers does make you feel good. Yeah. But if that's the only thing that is making you feel good about your podcast, that's kind of hollow, you know, and what about it's multifaceted? I mean, because if you want download numbers, you can buy those. You can buy bots to download your podcast all yeah. day. You can you can spend a couple thousand dollars to some click farm in Malaysia mm-hmm. and they'll uh, give you all the numbers you ever wanted. Exactly. I think I think uh, and I heard think I heard uh, Evo Terra say this uh, 100 bucks evo terra that the the download numbers tend to be vanity metrics for advertisers yeah i think he said that i think mm-hmm. i heard his podcast pontifications talk about that where mm-hmm. the only reason you have download numbers is to show show advertisers that you have some sort of phantom audience out there mm-hmm. that you can then leverage for sponsorships sure other than that you're right you don't know if someone hit play or not play but if you have an ad in there with a promo code mm-hmm. or a special link into your show notes, you can track. So that's when you start tracking stuff. When you put a special yeah. link, a, uh, a redirect link in your show notes, or if you put that goes to a very specific page or has some code in there that the, the page can remember, like in your analytics, or you have a promo code that only comes out in that episode. Maybe you change it every episode. Mm-hmm. And then that program is used. You can track those. That would give you some idea of engagement. I would think that would be one way to do that. Sure. Another way is you put your email address in there mm-hmm. and someone sends you an email. Email. There you go. You track that. And that actual human being writes. I mean, that actually <laughs> is like how many times mm-hmm. you've written an email to yeah. a podcast, the podcaster? How many times have you done it? Uh, 27. <laughs> The number tonight is 27. I've done 27 emails. <laughs> okay, let's say you've done it 27 times. Mm-hmm. You would be awesome in yeah. the eyes of these podcast people because getting an email is awesome. It is. So that's another metric. So mm-hmm. engagement, people respond to you or you ask them for a response and you get one. Yeah. Like another metric I think you could probably, you can compute is the metric of ratings and reviews. People yep. all say, they don't do nothing for you. Well, I'll tell you what. If you say, give me a five-star review and a rating, you go mm-hmm. to you know, go to Apple Podcasts or even go to podrec.com and go to mm-hmm. click on the Apple Podcast link and then go on there and put a review, five-star rating and review. And then I've got 300 of them on there. Mm-hmm. I know the audience is paying attention. And if you do that, we will mention your review on Podrect. That is true. So I think there's only three on there right now. It's okay. okay. We can mention all three. Right. Now I gotta go. Now I gotta find out. Let's let's put oh, some geez. advertising here. Here we go. Okay, I'm scrolling down the page here. Uh huh. Apple Podcasts. Okay, it's Apple loading. Podcasts. It's loading. it's loading. Oh, there are four. There we go. There are four on here. What do they say? Uh, oh, look at that. Super Joe Pardo. Super Joe Pardo put a review on here. Oh, what a guy. Yeah. A, uh, a couple other people who don't have, uh, don't look like they have any. Uh, it, only, it shows me three, but it says mm-hmm. I have four. It lied. There you go. It doesn't. Yeah, it just it just has the four. It says four ratings. But yeah. It only gives me three boxes. I don't know what that means. That says that tells me that uh, Apple Podcast. Maybe I have to go on iTunes. I bet yeah, you, have you to probably do. Apple Podcast, you know, slash iTunes, mm-hmm. and see the other one. But you uh, probably uh, have to. The minute I do that, my my computer's gonna like because <laughs> iTunes is a resource pig. Yes, it is. But uh, hey, we have we have four ratings. And we're a 5.0 podcast. Well, we should be at the top. We should be in like uh, news mm-hmm. new and noteworthy, shouldn't we? Because we are hot. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody disagreeing with us. Hot, but hot, hot. Four people wrote a review on there mm-hmm. and was like, you know, you are awesome. You know, and one of those people allegedly might have been me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll never tell. Was that that trench bucket guy? I tell you. It could have been. I think it, I think it was the Leaf Breeze. Leaf Breeze. Oh, Leaf Breeze, yeah. Yeah, my D&D character from high school. Oh, jeez. So So that's a metric. So so yeah. how many metrics is that, right? We got downloads. Mm-hmm. We've got uh we got promo codes. codes. We got special links. 
we have uh, e- audience members email you, so an yep. email address. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have uh, reviews. People reviews. place a review, so yeah. you, you ask them to do that, and they do it for you. Yeah, and, and it's not like a a trite review, right? Like, yeah. it's a great show. No, no, like, a, like these two guys <laughs> blew my mind. In fact, I listen to them every time they have a podcast episode out because I just never know what they're going to say next. They are the smartest, most brilliant men on the planet. Yeah, I know. Love, love mom. Love mom. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Yo, mom. yo, mom. A hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what. That's that's five. Are we, yeah. Are those counting at home. That's five, right? Five. Okay. I ran out of fingers. <laughs> what other metrics do we have? How about the metrics of I don't care? How about the metrics of being recognized in public? Oh, <laughs> Are you Timothy Kim O'Brien? <laughs> That's what happened. You're the podcast guy because I did that talk for the library yeah. and I was in the park. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. You remember that? Yep. You remember that? I've been, I've had someone tell me that uh, they were afraid to talk to me. I was like, Are you kidding me? It's like, I'm afraid to talk to everybody. I, I stand on the wall. I, I have to observe the room and like get comfortable before I approach anybody. Yeah. I was terrified to talk to Dave Jackson the very first time I saw him at DZ Podfest. Mm-hmm. But I figured if I didn't talk to him and uh, before that conference was over, I would never forgive myself. Exactly. I listened to like 400 of his episodes and that started <laughs> my first podcast. So he, he helped launch me into podcasting. I had to talk. <laughs> of course and I, I went up and said mr jackson <laughs> <laughs> you know i was very respectful shook his mm-hmm. hand and then as i'm talking to him because i made the effort to talk to him somebody else came up and yeah. talked to, him too, and i'm like okay well you know and then but you know now it's kyle and dave right mm-hmm. it's a first name basis kind of thing someone told me that about me and i was like no way <laughs> that really that really really kind of like took me back because i didn't realize that that could that someone else's journey mm-hmm. could include that they listened to Podrec and listened to one of our talks or mm-hmm. saw us at a conference or you know saw the you know saw the crowd we run in right sure these people that we've met and become friends with over time because that's what happens this community is very small yeah holy smokes it's small and that's what someone said you know I know I'm really glad that uh, that you sat next to me at one of the i think it was in mm-hmm. podcast i sat down is this this person i will not i'm not out them but they yeah they sat down it's like i'm so happy you sat down next to me because i was i always wanted to talk to you but i was afraid to say anything mm. i was like what okay um i'm I, mean, I, I won't bite unless you really want me to talk about being being humble <laughs> i was very humbled then right mm-hmm. but i never thought i would reach that that level you have reached the level or have I plateaued? <laughs> I might have plateaued. You. But I think it's a false summit, right? You get to the top. I'm at the top. And then you get to the summit and you look up and there's like, <laughs> you no, know, 10,000 more feet of mountain. You're like, ah, oh, crap. Oh, man. Yeah. But you're right. Recognized in public. Okay. Yeah. That's six. Drunk that's six. in public. Drunk in public. <laughs> <laughs> they were that's profiling it. everybody <laughs> on that particular sidewalk. Yeah. That's six. six yeah, okay, so that's recognized six for your mm-hmm. for your feats. Uh, I I would think that uh, maybe seven, maybe seven as a metric of seven is 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 dollars made. Yeah, you know, like through your Patreon account or through your buy me a coffee yeah. account, or, or people just you know in, in the street handing you money not to beat them up. Or or yeah, <laughs> <laughs> happens to me all the time. They're well, like, you're covered in tattoos. You're terrifying. I mean, you in a dark alley. Jeez, <laughs> I go running, screaming from that bar too. I'm a teddy bear. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it's it's funny, folks. Is as Tim is the scary looking one, but I'm the one who's actually dangerous. <laughs> Because I'm crazy. <laughs> See, I don't like to get my hands dirty. I like to have people do it for me. I'm Air Force. He's Navy. You know, right? We don't, we don't need to. We don't need to. Uh, you know, risk our uh, our manicures or our uh, facials. You know, we'll, we'll let we'll let the Marines and the uh, Navy folks do That's that. Right. We're all crawl through any bilge mm-hmm. and get you. <laughs> yeah. 
But that I think that's a, a metric. Is I think so too. Dollars made. Okay, so yeah. volunteer dollars like uh, like uh, Patreon or mm-hmm. buy me a cup of coffee. Those are those are two good, really good ways to make a couple bucks. Another uh, way is to be recognized by your peers, i.e., um, the Podcasters Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame oh, podcaster Dave okay. Jackson. That's number okay. eight. So your peers then recognize that you mm-hmm. are you are significant in your field. So that's number eight. That would make a lot of sense. Um, People seeking you out for your advice or mentorship. Oh, okay. That's number nine. nine. Mm-hmm. Okay. So in, in, in some ways, uh, being asked, I think, versus submitting a talk to a conference or to a mm-hmm. meetup, being asked to come to a conference or a meetup, I think, is when that when that coin flips. Yeah. Because we've all, you know, you, you and I have both submitted talks like, you know, mm-hmm. geez, we can never shut up. But we submit talks to all sorts of places. I've, I think I've only been once have I been asked to, to deliver a talk I gave at another conference to a, to a different conference. Yeah. And that was a pretty cool feeling. Mm-hmm. I, uh, one time I was asked to give one talk twice. Nice. And although I know I was just like filling a gap because someone didn't mm-hmm. show up still, you know, there was 200 people talking, but they asked me to do mm-hmm. the second talk because it was, you know, the person, the, the, the event director liked it too much. <laughs> Yep. Um, let's see. So you have, uh, you have that going on. Mm-hmm. That's kind of cool. What's a, uh, you think about it is, I is, think 10 is a perfect number. Is 10 a perfect number? I think 10 is a perfect number. So let's, let's, yeah, okay, here we go. Here's a challenge for you. Oh, write it. I, I'm not writing these down. You're if you've been paying right. attention, <laughs> Tim is about to give us the top 10 countdown of the metrics that. No, I'm not. <laughs> you should be thinking about to tell you whether or not your podcast is actually being successful. So, Tim, mm-hmm. number one. Uh, number one is obviously, you know, uh, your uh, your download numbers. Download if, if, okay. If, if, you want, if you want to believe those numbers, fantastic. Download numbers. I'm going to put a bell in here every time you get it right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Number two. <sighs> Number two, uh, number two is, uh, oh God, uh, not download numbers, but, um, well, you know, yeah, email, yeah, email okay. connections. One of them. Okay. Yep. I'm All not right. going to get them in order. I'll <laughs> tell you that right now. I'm not going to get them in okay. order. Okay. Keep going. Um, um, uh, third one, uh, like we were just talking about, it's being recognized by your peers. As okay. Well, you really get them out of order, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm going to have them out of order, dude. Okay. Uh, uh, the fourth one is uh, being sought out. Um, the fifth one is money, money, money. Okay. Money. Um, okay. Uh, so I've five. got five. Yeah, I'm, I'm there with five. Um, okay. Number six, number six, number six. Uh, oh, uh, uh, promo codes. Promo codes. Okay. Yeah. Seven, seven. No, 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 no. Promo codes. Uh, oh, he's, he's drowning, folks. He's, he's, his cognitive dysfunction. Executive. Oh, wait. Well, 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 I mean, where, where am I? On the charts. Why am I clothed? If only he had a link, a special link he could click in order to get his memory back. You know, it's like a special link, some kind of like link that was special. If he only had one of those, he might be able to to remember what, like a uh, link? like a special link, like a, 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 a link that you embed on your website. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And and how do we think Tim is doing? Do we, do, should we give Tim five stars? I wonder if we should give him five. Oh, well, rate and review. Yeah. Rate and review. Okay. Yeah, that's nine. All right. All right, that's one, two, three. That's eight. That's eight. That's yeah, eight, yeah. You're missing two. You're missing oh, two of them. Damn. What could they be? What could they were be? Were these ones that I thought of? Uh, some of them, no. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that Mister Rogers talk you gave? Oh yeah, yeah. Talking at conferences, um, uh, being asked to talk. Being asked to talk. There mm-hmm. you go. Okay. All right, we're at nine. Okay. Are we at nine? We're at nine, you have one more. So being recognized in public, recognized in public. 
Drunk in there public. Go. Drunk in public. Okay, yeah. there's number 10. Right. So download numbers, emailers from listeners, being ID by your peers, being sought out by people who've listened to your show, yes. uh, making any kind of money. It yeah. comes can come from anywhere. Making any kind of money. Promo codes that you use in your ads yeah. to let your advertisers know that they actually someone actually went and bought their product. Uh, links, special links, so they go to special sites. You know, if someone actually clicked or actually went to a link that you mentioned mm-hmm. in a show. That's a different way to do it. It's a different than promo codes. Promo codes and links are different. So mm-hmm. just keep that in mind. Uh, rates and re- rate and reviews. You know, people actually listen to you and went out and spent some time to actually rate and review. Although it doesn't really bump you in the charts, it does make podcasters feel pretty good that someone actually listened to them. We have asked to be talk to talk at conferences. That's always a huge, mm-hmm. huge plus. And, and, and talk about humbling, very humbling mm-hmm. to be asked to be talked. And then, of course, being recognized by your peers. That's mm-hmm. or, sorry, recognized in, by in public. In public. That's where they come up and say, "Hey, you're that guy. You're, you're the that podcast guy." Porn guy. Porn hub. No, gonna... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I uh you recognize like that. You want your voice, your voice. You have like Audible or you know, like audible.com or like a, a book or you know, on, a, on an audio drama. You don't recognize that way. Like, you're, you're an actor. Like, I, I know I've seen you in something, haven't I? No, you have not seen yeah. me in something. You've heard me in something. <laughs> well, you did see me in Pornhub and uh, OnlyFans, but you know, yeah, I'm the guy who delivered the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And I left. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what happened after that. It was just a, just a, just a cameo and it was. I was just starting out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I was in college. I was experimenting, you know. <laughs> that's so sad. But that's that is the uh the way that those are metrics that matter. Yeah. Maybe that's what we'll call this one. Metrics that matter. What do we call that one? What is the size of your yard arm? <laughs> the size of your yard arm. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, that's it. Cliff is gonna much, love it. We're having too much fun for the with this one. Yeah, yeah. you have to go like you first. You have to. Do you even know what a yard arm is? I have no idea. I'm Air I Force. No dude. I've never been on a ship. I don't know what a yard arm is. It, is it something <laughs> that's a yard long that you measure? You know, like water width or something? I don't know. So on a square rigged ship. On a what? The end of the yard on a square rigged ship. So in other words, a, 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 a ship, which is not a boat, ship has a keel. It has square sails. And the ends of those sails uh, across the cross beam, uh-huh. right? The ends of those, that's the yard arm, right? Okay. So the outer extrem- extremity of the ship's yard, and the yard being the line that the, the, the piece of wood that holds the, the sail open. There you go. Yard arm. Well, they're a yard long, aren't they? Well, that's what when someone says string them up by the yard arm, what they're doing is they're taking a, a rope and tying it around the, the horizontal piece of wood mm-hmm. <laughs> to string you up from that. That's a, usually that's a bad thing that's about to happen to you. And it's a but, yard long. It's it's not a yard long. <laughs> <laughs> then why do they call it a yard arm? My so on arm the mast, the sails, right? It's the the timber that goes across, right? That's what it is. All right. So the title of the show is "Is Your Arm a Yard Long?" Oh, like your reach. Oh, play on words. Oh, that's very clever. Okay. That's what we'll call this one, <laughs> which you already know because you already press play. So you already know it's like, <laughs> is your arm a yard long? And people are going to be like, what? Yeah, it's a play on words. So if you had got to the end of this episode, you now know how Tim and I come up with the episode names of these shows where we just we talk about the topics and the subjects. And when we get to the end, we're like, what do we call this thing? And a lot of times you don't get to see how the sausage is made, or in this case, how the sale is deployed. <laughs> Look on you Tim's know, sale, priceless. <laughs> sale is deployed. Sale is deployed. Yes, we're unfurled. We did unfurl the sale. Oh, no, money penny. <laughs> Colonel Bolligard, I do declare. <laughs> <laughs> I, I i think i think i'm going i think i'm going into voice acting i think i could i could do that i, I, need, I need to build like a reel 
How do I do that? You need to build a portfolio. A portfolio? I have one of those, but not for voiceovers. Right. Well, that's what you need then. You need to build your portfolio for voiceovers. Yeah. I need to build a, a per- portfolio for voiceovers. Who's someone who could help me with that? Um, <laughs> like a commercial. <laughs> audio branding by our good friend up in Canada. Oh, you can't remember her name, can you? No, I can't. <laughs> I'm trying to look her up. Hold on. Starts with a J. Ends with a JK. <laughs> There's her initials. <laughs> you know, I only know her by her uh, podcast <laughs> artwork. So. If only we could go to a, a website like voiceover. Here it is. Vocals.com. Jody Crangle. Crangle. Audio <laughs> branding. Jody, hey, Jody Crangle. You don't have to pay us the hundred bucks because... Tim, you know, Tim had a senior moment. That's okay. We give him, we give him the benefit of the doubt. I haven't got my medication yet. Okay. It's supposed to come here on Tuesday. (laughs) He doesn't have his medication, you know, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's his maid's week off. I fired three doctors this week. He fired three doctors. He had all the rookie cards too. And then he had to go get a whole new set. That's a rough life. All of them fired. Incompetence. He's got twins. They started elementary school. So there's all that. Man. Wait a minute. When did I have twins? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. So if you need quality voice acting, you need to go see Jody's site. And again, the link for that is voiceoverandvocals.com. And no, she did not pay us for that. We're just they're giving her a shout out. Yeah. But this is what you're talking about. I need to get a uh, portfolio, the voice yeah. act. Well, yeah, you definitely need a portfolio. Hell, I need to do one too because I'm doing all the stuff for um, uh, Poetic Earthlings and uh, Most Precious Commodity. Um, I, I don't have actor. anything. I don't have I'm anything. Great. You're not an actor. You're an actor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Pause. I am. For dramatic Rich. effect. Effect. <laughs> yes i've had like six cups of coffee ah yeah it's it's friday what can i say i had to wake kyle up once again he did yeah yeah which is which is weird is is when i have too much coffee i like i crash it's that weird is like usually coffee hypes people up with me yeah. coffee kind of puts me out coffee 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 yeah well thank you for listening to this episode of Podrect. Mm-hmm. uh it was uh, hopefully it was informative and you know the your Definitely your arm is your arm is a yard long, right? Mine <laughs> the top is. 10 metrics. Yeah, top ten metrics and some fun. You know, Tim and I are just kind of getting back in the groove of this, and we appreciate you listening all the way to this point at the very end. And uh, I, th- I think it's uh, I think we're we're getting back in the groove. We're a little we're a little slap happy. It's only because we're a little punchy. Yeah, it's only because this summer has been rough. So we're looking forward to to the the fall being much much nicer to us. But uh, tell the kind folks, thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Both Kyle and I would like to thank you for listening to Podrect. It's the podcast that helps you survive your podcast. You can reach out to us at podrect at gmail.com. Go over to our website, podrect.com. Hit. No, no, don't hit smash that patreon button you'll see it right there you know what it looks like i know what it looks like i need you to know what it looks like go to podrick.com and let kyle and i help you survive your podcast we'll see you next time welcome to audio branding hi i'm jody crane I see Jody's stuff here, right? Like the six second commercial. She has a whole bunch of cool stuff. Here. Family passes from just one night. Family passes from. Good lord. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Jody, you just made us both go deaf. That'll wow. be a hundred dollars, please. It was really loud. <laughs> um, uh, Kyle, stop drinking the decaf. Okay, just stop drinking the decaf. <laughs> Tells you what I know. <laughs> You're not paying attention to me, but that's okay. I'm not. Oh, I'm a mess. There you go. <laughs> I'm cutting across the mind. 
while I'm eating Wisconsin cheese and German pretzels. <laughs> German pretzels. <laughs> oh, wow. This is Gagglepod. Pod.